Well, you guys got another rogue removal video here for you. This one's called Windows Ultra Antivirus. It's a fake antivirus program. Now, as you can see, what it's doing is doing some scans on my system, and it's saying I'm heavily infected. And basically, what it's going to do there is try to tempt you into paying for this to remove these infections. Whereas these infections are really bogus; they're not real. It's just a scam to and make you pay for a product that doesn't really work. So all in all, it's just pretty much like all other rogues, really. It's uh, to scam you out of your money. And I'm going to show you how to remove it. Now, this does uh, actually download a nasty rootkit on the system, which goes into the drivers folder. And uh, we're gonna, I'll show you where that is now. I'm going to go to C drive, Windows, and then we're going to come down to System32, and then in the drivers folder, you should see a file and this is the actual one here you can't rename this file or delete it it won't let you do anything as you can see and uh, what we're going to do is show you how to remove this from the system so let's get started anyway I'm going to quickly fire up uh, UVK here to kill this process now UVK is a great tool you can get it on the internet I'll show you where to get it type UVK in do a search and then you want to come up to this uh, link here I will put the link in the description and you've seen me use this program before it's an awesome bit of kit and uh, you can download either the installation one or the uh, portable app whatever you want to do and it's free to use so what I'm going to do here is fire up this let me just move this to one side so you can see what's happening Okay, and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to Process Manager and I'm going to look for this process, which is this one here. You can see that running from the desktop. I'm going to put the tick in delete parent file and I'm going to kill this process. It's going to reboot. There you go. Okay, that's now done. Next thing we need to do is run TDSS Killer. So we want to run TDSS Killer. Now you're going to get a uh, cannot load driver, and that's because the rootkit is trying to stop it. Just click OK here, and then we're going to run the scan. Now it's going to find loads of infections, but you only need to remove one. Okay, there you go. So the one we're interested in is this top one, and this is the actual one that's in the drivers folder. If you click on this here, you'll see this is the one that's in the drivers area. Don't worry about all the ones below. Just leave them all on skip, okay? We don't need to worry about those. You don't want to be deleting them. So the first thing I want to do is change this to delete, this top one here. And I know it's the right one, because I'll quickly just show you. Go down to System32 again, and then Drivers, and there you can see it's that same file as this one, and that's the one we want to remove, okay? Okay, so we're going to delete this one, leave them on Skip, and go Continue. It needs to reboot the system so it can remove it, so I'm going to say OK here. Again, we'll just let this boot back up. And uh, the next thing we're going to do is run Hitman Pro and Malwarebytes. So we'll start off with Hitman Pro first.
Okay, I'm not worried about that top one. That's nothing to do with it. That's something I've got for another video. So I'm going to ignore that one. This is the one we're interested in, the one that's running here. It says run against it. I'm going to delete this out. Okay, so we want to remove this one here. So take no notice of the top one. That's the one on the desktop that's just been removed. Quick reboot. I'm going to do one last scan with Malwarebytes just to make sure the system's fully cleaned up. Do some updates. Then run a scan. And that's the scan finished. As you can see that's come up clean. Which is a good sign. And there's one last thing I want to do is say thanks to Malwarebytes for the actual sample. Because without them guys I can't make these videos for you. And I think that'll be about it for this video. So uh, if you'd like to see more videos like this, just hit the subscribe button and uh, keep tuned and I'll be making more videos again in the future. So thanks again for watching, guys. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Bye for now.